Lord, I want more, more of your ability. Oh, my, 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 some kind of symbol. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy man, I said, you make my life so beautiful. As you are, you have made me here. There's nothing greater than these. That's why I love you forevermore. How many of you are beautiful today? You make my life so beautiful. Beautiful, so beautiful. And as you are, you have. Jesus. There's nothing greater than these. That's why I love you forevermore. I want more of you. I want more of you. Jesus, the more the more I want to know you, Jesus, more of you. Oh, just lift up your hands wherever you are. You make my life so beautiful.
bless his holy name. Why should I even bless this God? The reasons are countless. We can't finish them. All are not contained in this scripture. From verse 2 he said, Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. I forget not all his benefits. Who forgives you and I? Our iniquities. Who heal all our diseases? Verse 4. Who redeem you and I, our life, from destruction? Who crown you and I with loving kindness and tender mercies? Because of how precious our time is today, I will not be reading for them. I want us to close our eyes. You are not going to thank nobody. You are going to thank him. Oh Lord, you have been so good. You are so good to me. Oh Lord, you are excellent in my life. I many I can never with this song. Oh Lord, you Show your friend to us in a way that we will understand you. Thank you. 
thank you, Jesus. We hope that every spirit you have not ordained to be in this auditorium. <laughs> Father, we worship you. We worship you. In Jesus' marvelous name, have we prayed. Why, why not we give Jesus a clap of the as we have our sins? Let's have our sins to the glory of the risen Lord. I spoke with our own from story to glory. <laughs> How many of us are expecting a change? A change that no man can give to you. A change that no church can give to you. A change that no pastor can give to you. That change shall be a portion in Jesus' name. Talk with me very quickly to Luke chapter 1 verse 36. Luke chapter 1 verse 36. Only this place and then we'll spend some few time together and then we'll continue. If time permits. Luke chapter 1 verse 36. And I read very quickly. Very quickly. And in this verse the scripture says. And behold. Help me tap your neighbor and say. Look. The scripture is talking to you. Now Elijah told Elisha. If only you will not lose focus. If only you will not lose focus, your story is about to change. And he said, And behold, your cousin Elizabeth, she has also conceived a son, even in her old age. Talk to your neighbor that it is never too late yet. And this is the sixth month of that conception with her, who was called barren. I want to quickly begin just anyhow, just anyhow. It does not really matter the type of name they may have called you before this moment. coming to this service. It does not really matter the type of experience we may have had few hours just behind now. It does not really matter the type of tag name secretly decoded may refer to you and others that know about this decoded name they know you immediately. This service is for you. Talk to yourself. This service is for me. To glory. It shall be so unto us in Jesus' name. Yeah. Very quickly, beloved, I welcome each and every one of us to this awesome month, the month of December. And one thing that I know, this month already is a month, a month of no more negative or bad story. Amen. How many of us you receive it? This is my month of But in this month of December, it is bye bye forever. Yeah. At a time in the life of this special woman that we read about, whose name has remained indelible, whose name has remained not being clean away from the scripture by the name called Elizabeth. When everyone concluded, it can't happen again. Meaning all hope was totally lost. When you take a look back to January, you may have seen a situation similar to this. Where it looks as if all hope is lost, gone, and forgotten. There could be some critical issues in our heads right now. And the language of that issue is that all oh, hope is gone, lost, forgotten. That is the reason why God ushered your feet to this place to announce to you. Even if the government has given you up, the law has given you up, man has given you up. Even if the reason why you order your feet to this 
this place is our announced to you. Him, your creator. The one who found you while you were still in your mother's womb. He attached purpose to you. He has not given you up. Help me communicate your neighbor, say precious neighbor. God has not given you up yet. in her life. I continue to say that our God has been tested times without number. The Bible says this scripture that you and I we carry and we do whatever which we use it as pillow. Before he could release this scripture, this eternal picture and words to mankind, he himself mentioned that this word passed through test of fire seven good times. Seven good times. He didn't make a mistake by saying that forever, O oh Lord, thy word is settled. This word is eternally settled. And that is why I'm rest assured that he's about to do something new in our lives. I'm rest assured. If I to be a man that speaks because he just feels like speaking, then we can win our, our mouth our nose and say he's just mad when situation become too difficult he will hide himself after all kings have ways that they have altered out they swallowed them back because situation were too tight for them but this God the creator of the ocean it does not matter how many uh, ways they try to take water from the ocean the ocean is not dry and that's why we call him the, 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 the blessed one the breasted one, the all sufficient God, the one who does not run dry of supply, no ideas, the one without whom no one rules, all kingdom bars on him. And to many, they see no evil possibility, it can happen again this year. They see no possibility, they look back, they look from from January to now, nothing has happened. Thereby 
coup shall come unto thee, you may have your seat. God bless you. He didn't say, acquaint now yourself to a church. Oh. There is nothing wrong coming to a church. Oh. <laughs> Last week we had is about relationship. Don't say, but I go to that church, nothing is changing. Have you acquainted yourself with him? Have you acquainted yourself? John 22, verse 21, what we have just said, say, acquaint now thyself. What we are seeing these days is that identification to a church is very common. Where do you fellowship in the Christian Christians of God? We need to acquaint ourselves with Him. For our story to change to glory, it's not talking about collectively. Collectively is equally good. But when God speaks specially, he, speak, he addresses an individual. So he's talking to you, he's talking to me. Church, it is high time. Acquaint now thyself unto him. <laughs> so that good will come to you. So that your story can change to glory. It is when good started happening in the house of Obidedo. Journalists now immediately realized that there is a man living in that land called Obidedo. Nobody knows of him before. When he acquainted himself with him, he accommodated him. He allowed him to feel relaxed. He didn't say this room you will not enter. He didn't say this leg you will not touch because he's committed to one association. He didn't say this post you will not see because what I have there has stolen goods. Bible recorded. And all of a sudden, we did not begin the headline of news. He got to the king, the king became jealous. King David, who feared that the act of the God's covenant cannot go to his house because he saw. A man who was worshipping him with zeal but no corresponding knowledge touched the ark when he's supposed not to and he, and he died. Fear gripped him. He said, no, I can't take this into my house. Lest everybody in my household died. But when Obedeo accommodated him and he acquainted himself with him, he gave him every room. When Jesus comes to your life, don't tell Jesus, this table you cannot touch. This chair you cannot go into. This area you give him absolute control. Master. Over universe. If it's master over your situation, I tell you, you can go to sleep and all will be well. Acquaint yourself. Number one, for our story to change to glory. Number two, for our story to change to glory, we must keep away from sin. Is pastor included? Of course, number one. All of us. Heads of department, ministers, teachers, men, with their children. Stop teaching them. We must keep away from sin. When you read Proverbs 14 verse 34, he said, it is righteousness that will take a nation up there without limit. Righteousness. Righteousness will take a home to them. Righteousness will take a small boy and make him a king. Righteousness will take a woman, a lady in a foreign land and make her a queen. Righteousness open all doors before you. It could be that you may even be oppressed for a while, but not for too long. Because truth cannot be buried. Righteousness is not a nation. But sin destroys and sin hinders. As soon as God sees that your story is about to change, when the enemy sees that your, glory, your story is about to change to glory, what he does, he comes with this cheap offers. Cheap offers that will hinder you, that will limit you. I pray the grace to recognize every trap of the enemy before we enter into this new year and continue. That grace will rest upon you from this service. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So sin destroy and hinders. For our story to change to glory, beloved, we must have faith in God. And then continue to hope in Him. In Mark 11 verse 22, even as I'm drawing close, and about rounding off, Jesus only appeared and spoke to as many that were there willing to hear what he was, he has to offer. He only said, just have 
have faith in God. All you need to do is just have faith in God. The truth is that men are servants of God like you and I. We are middle men, of course. But we do not really have much power to determine miracles. It depends so much on the receiver. Ultimately, 70% of what you receive depends on your faith. Jesus was so hindered that in his own town, in his own time, because of their unbelief. All because the news of people and chairs that are spoiled and will take to him. He has been the one holding one chair for Joseph and Joseph be hitting it. How can he come and say he's a savior? The Bible only got it because of their unbelief. We are so familiar, we know ourselves. How can he just say my story is about to change? <laughs> have faith in God. And that's why whatever you have experience, continue to hope in him. Continue to hope in him. The last one I will speak about and then we'll draw the curtain is this. For our story to change to glory. <coughs> Beloved, we must be expectant. We must be expectant. And we must pray with that season. I want to stop in this place. When you read Proverbs 23, verse 18, he says, surely there is an end. An end to what? Most especially if what we may have been experiencing is negative. One form of oppression or the other. One form of intimidation, fear or the other. One form of uh, near success syndrome. I'm about to achieve it and it slip off my hand. Uh, surely there is an end. And it didn't stop there. In Proverbs 23, verse 18. And he said, and your righteous expectations. Not only have expectations. Your righteous God desire expectation for you. He said, they will never be cut off. They will never be cut off. Let's see.
Let's remain with them. Let's remain with them. Please do not leave them alone. Let's remain with them. You are part of the victory. That is why you should not leave them alone. Call your Bible to Luke chapter 2. Luke chapter 2. Verse 22. Luke chapter 2. Verse 22. And the Bible says, Paraventure, you are here. Is, that, is it biblical what they are doing? Is it supported by the scripture? Luke chapter 2, verse 22. And the Bible says, And when the days of her purification, according to the law of Moses, were accomplished, they brought him, that special son, Jesus, to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. What you and I were privileged to witness today is in line with the scripture that we have just read. The Bible says we need to look unto him. Jesus is our perfect example. Mission that our precious son Joshua or Sarobo, Sonny. Better hands. We know daddy and mommy love Joshua so much. But the first father that Joshua has is God. No better hands to put Joshua than the hands of the Lord. It's a recognition that we are grateful for the gift of Joshua to us. When you open your Bible to Psalm 127, let's turn to that place. Psalm 127. And I read verse 3 to verse 5. And the scripture says, Look, children are heritage of the Lord. And the fruit of the womb is his reward. The word I want us to draw our attention to is that Joshua is a heritage from the Lord. And when you receive something from somebody, or it could be an embodiment, there are always some instructions that are attached. There is always a saying that when you don't know the purpose of a thing, abuse is inevitable. So God who gave Joshua to us also has some instruction how we are to take care of Joshua. Verse 4, he said, As arrows are in the hand of a mighty man, so are children of the youth. The last one, verse 5. He said, Happy is the man that has his giver full of them. They shall not be ashamed, but they shall speak with the enemies in the gate. It shall be the portion of all of our children in the mighty name of Jesus. We are going to dedicate Joshua right now. In our certificate, there is an advice. In Proverbs 22 verse 6, it says, Train up a child in the way he or she should go. Because I know, even after Joshua, more other healthy boys and girls, wonderful, beautiful, are coming. And to as many of us, including myself, that we desire it, it shall be our portion in Jesus' name. I am looking forward towards dedicating triplet, quadruplet. So we need to train up our children in the way of the Lord. So that when they grow up, they will not say, no, I don't have to behave the way you are behaving. I don't have to be going to church the way you go. No. So it is our responsibility. It's our responsibility.
Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. Joshua has come to your presence. Amen. This is what you have ordained. We read in, the, in your word just now that this child is from you. Father, we are asking in the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. the purpose that you brought Joshua down to this world, let it be fulfilled in life. Amen. Amen. But as he grew up, you still said it in your world that train up a child the way he or she will go. So that when she or he grow up, we will not depart from you. Father, we ask in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Give the parent the grace to be able to train up Joshua in your way in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, whatever the father and the mother need to be able to take care of Joshua spiritually, materially. Financially, they will not lack in the mighty name of Jesus. Joshua will not hear the voice of the enemy. It is only when it is the time for him to stand, he will stand. When it is the time for him to walk, he will walk. When it is the time for him to propose to marry, he will propose. And when it is the time for him to marry, he will marry. So shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus. When it is the time for Joshua to go to school, he will go to school. Yeah. And he will be best among his mates in the mighty name of Jesus. In this way, Joshua will do things through you, our Father, that other children have not done yet in this place in the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. Everywhere he go, the enemy will begin to run from him in the mighty name of Jesus. Those who cause him, he will cause them. Yeah. Those who bless him, you will bless them. Amen. He will be the head, not the tail. He will be at the top, not beneath. He will be at the front, not at the back. Amen. So shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, through Joshua, he will draw many souls to the kingdom. Amen. He will use his leg to walk for you. Amen. He will use his mouth to sing for you. Amen. And he will use the, the mouth to preach for you. Amen. Wherever he go, they pray your presence that the carry will destroy the works of the enemy. Amen. So shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, you will dig a wall of fire around him. Amen. A wall of fire that the enemy will not be able to come near. Amen. So shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. No weapon that the storm against him shall prosper. Amen. Every tongue that rises up against him is judgment. We condemn them in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. No divination against Jacob. No enchantment against Israel. They will speak their word, it will not stand. Amen. They will prophesy, it will not come to pass. Amen. So shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we ask, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, as our pastor has said, I think it's ringing in my spirit too, other ones are coming. Amen. Let it be that as they are coming, Father, they will all follow suit in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, use this opportunity to draw the parent more closer to you. Amen. Because you are giving it give it the duty to perform. On your own part, there is nothing wrong. Because whatever you do is perfect. That is why we are asking for that. Give them the grace to be able to perform their duty. Amen. That at the end, your name and will be glorified. Amen. In Jesus' mighty and powerful name we pray. Amen. As we have said, Joshua is blessed for now, forevermore. Amen. He will not die. Amen. But he will lead to declare your words. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. In Jesus' mighty and powerful name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 King of glory, we also remember the family in your name, O oh Lord. Amen. That anything that is not right in the life of the couple, Father, may you repair it in Jesus' name. Amen. To the glory of the Father. Amen. Anything, any sickness, any causes from the lineage of the mother, the lineage of the father, will never get to Joshua in Jesus' name. Amen. Joshua will fulfill destiny. Amen. Any man or woman that will be planning evil towards this child, because this child has been presented here in your house this day, the thunder of God will destroy that person. In the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, and in the name of God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.
Father, in the name of Jesus, I glorify your holy name, Lord Jesus. I thank you, Lord Jesus, for this wonderful day. It is the day you've planned it come to pass. In the name of Jesus. Father, I commend Joshua into your hand. I said in the book of Joshua, your son Joshua will possess his possession. In the land of the living, in the name of Jesus. Father, from this end forth, I come against power of his paternal and maternal home. Right now, in the name of Jesus. Father, any man that calls him, he will come to bless him. In the name of Jesus. Any man that bless him, come to bless him. Father, Lord, I return that curse right now. We are coming from to the abyss and the desert in the name of Jesus. Father, so as you protect children of Israel to the land of Egypt, Father, let Joshua be protected in the name of Jesus. From this day's effort, I bless Joshua the blessing of Abraham. In Jesus, they will pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Father, Lord, we thank you. Thank you, Father. Daddy, as a church, our heart is filled with joy. Amen. Because you have made this possible. I'm totally in agreement with your sons and your daughters that have prayed. And every other prayer that will be coming genuinely according to your will concerning Joshua. As Joshua of the scripture, so shall he be. The Bible recorded in a whole nation, only Joshua and Caleb, they were distinguished. And at the end of the day, they were the one also that entered into that promised land. Father, in, her, in his days, in his time, let Joshua be distinguished. As that wherever Joshua will go, Daddy, let your presence go with him. My daddy and my savior, when you give project, you also make provision. Daddy has sufficient provision to bring Joshua up in the way of the Lord. Be released upon this home in Jesus' name. Your word only declare in the book of Galatians, say, henceforth let nobody trouble me. Because I bear in my body the mark of Jesus. I ask my Father and my God to as many that are genuinely here to rejoice with this home. Lord, they are leaving this place with this same testimony. In the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says, except you alone watch over a house. Watch over the life of Joshua. When Solomon was dedicating that wonderful temple unto you, you appreciated it. You said, my name will be on that temple. Every cry that arises from that temple, I will hacking on top. You said, my eyes will be there. Father, this is a living temple. Amen. You said, henceforth, do I love the temple that may be you. But I shall prefer to dwell in the one that I made in my own image and after my likeness. That they watch over the life of Joshua. Amen. Every cry, whether day or night, that arises from Joshua. Father, attend to that cry. Amen. My Lord and my God, no weapon for fashion against Joshua. It will never prosper. Amen. Daddy, we are dedicating Joshua in the name of the Father. Amen. We are dedicating Joshua in the name of the Son. Amen. We are dedicating Joshua in the name of the blessed Holy Ghost. Yeah. In Jesus' mighty name have I prayed. Yeah. Um, we have uh, this certificate. We can also put picture of Joshua in the corner.
passport photo as a proof that a great man was dedicated here today. When I was carrying Joshua, don't you? I'm sweating inside. He has me. So, I want us two things we are going to do. In fact, one thing, just one. We are going to give a very good offering, a very good one. I do always say that there is no better.
Praise the Lord.
through this token to the life of a child. Praise the Lord. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Turn the house of the Lord. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. And God bless you all. Amen. As you come to celebrate with me, celebration can never end in your life. Amen. The gift that I receive, you must surely receive it. Amen. I thank you all. First and foremost, I thank my wife. Amen. I know I won't be lighting up. Please give glory to God. Papa go too much. Yes. That is why I still remain your young man. I thank God for today to come to pass. But I don't believe you will be like this. But I'm very we can never forget you. Amen. God will be right for Jesus' name. Amen. People in Mukia, may God bless you all as you deal with you this I thank you all. City of Refuge, God bless you all.